My name is Kai, Moshe Kai. This foolish yada yada about diversity and the incredible PC that surrounds this topic just tickles me to death. I like vanilla ice cream. You don't like it? I hate you for that. Get out of my America. You are Afro-American. More Afro? Not enough American. I hate you for that. Go back to Africa. Um, what are you laughing about, Brownie? I hate you too. Jump back to your side of the fence. You don't belong to my America either. And you, slanted eyes, ling long, ching chong, yellow belly commie. You don't belong to my America either. Go back to where you came from. Looking at my heritage, I'm Chinese. Italian, Brazilian, Portuguese, and I don't even know if I'm also German or Polish. Some of my great grandparents were born in a town that was in Germany but now I was on Polish soil. And to complicate my situation even further, I was born in the United States of America. Where do I belong? Where should I go back to? I'm of a mixed breed. But looking at it again, I was blessed by this blend of heritages. It gave me great opportunities to experience different cultures, geographies, histories, languages, views, ideas, and yet I'm able to choose and taste different kinds of foods. Malahoguo, vermicelli, churrasco, tejan, schnitzel, pierogi, and even whopper and fries. Much more. In this food paradise, life is healthier and more enjoyable. <clears throat> to hammer about diversity, it's just, it's just wrong. It's divisive. It's very distracting and extremely conflict-ridden. It's just mind-boggling how much time we spend criticizing, denigrating, judging, even dissecting each other, instead of appreciating our God-given condition of being human. This uniqueness of being human, this is what really binds us. It glues us all together. We are all universally unique. Just by looking at you, faces, different colors, bald or not, with makeup or not, near or far, wherever you might be. You could be sitting down in the front, miles away, or even on Mars. I can recognize you as a human being. Human beings are the only ones that can communicate to each other, even talk to one another and agree, even reach a consent. We have brains that can tell apart right from wrong, good from evil, and do you know that we can care about one another, then why don't we? If we stop for just a minute to reason, we'll realize that no one owns this planet Earth. We are just vacationers on this planet in a brief, very short vacation. And we can carry nothing, nothing with us, our departure. Just like my father says, one morning, we wake up and suddenly realize that we are old, very old. And then we ask ourselves, what good do we do on our stay here on this planet Earth? What do we do to help better this world? And what is our legacy of love and kindness? Hence, in my youth, I ask, why? Why is there so much hate and violence and not kindness and understanding? Why is there so much war and not peace? Why do we spend trillions of dollars in a stupid war for 12 years, thousands of ours dead or hurt? No happy solution, no democracy, and guess what? They still hate us. With this money spent, that's in the garbage now, or in the pockets of rich dictators, we could have improved the lives of all Americans. How many roads how many schools could we have built employing Americans? How much more free tuition and scholarships for struggling kids and students like me could we have had? How much more food in the play of the poor? How much more housing, medicine, health care to relieve the pain of senior citizens? Isn't it strange that we don't have enough money to take care of the needs of our own country? And the United States has more than $17 trillion in debt as of today. Yet we have plenty, billions of dollars to understand. Why? Why do we keep making the same stupid mistake 
over and over and over and over. Why do we keep drowning our noses in other countries' affairs, threatening with war and violence if they don't clean up their act? Instead, shouldn't we be cleaning our own home that is in shambles, helping our own citizens for a better life? If we would live in harmony with the world around us, a peaceful and progressive America would emerge respected and envied by others due to our harmony, and they would follow us. We will be stronger morally to lead and much more powerful by our righteous beliefs. I dream, I dream of us, all of us human beings, being in peace and extending a helping hand to a person in need every single day. Or. If we don't have wealth to give, then why can't we try to spread kindness to those around us? At least, what would it cost us to spread a caring word daily? Love would spread more rapidly, and the earth would be greener, more prosperous, and peaceful. On the other hand, I'm just a measly mathematician. I just crank numbers. I'm neither a wise man nor a philosopher, just a teenager. Barely 16 years old, full of ideas and ideals. Who am I to tell a grown-up about my dreams and hopes? Thank you for listening.